everybody, my name is Spamos and welcome back to Stormworks. Coming up today, we've got a brand new ship to check out, so without any more stalling, let's begin! Welcome to the game and welcome to the RMS Olympus. Obviously inspired by the likes of the RMS Olympic of the White Star Line, we have ourselves a very sizable ship to explore. Forward world deck and forecastle deck, very, very much Olympic class. We're just missing a crow's nest and a mast and uh, a few things here or there, but essentially that's what we're looking at right there. Now, this is a rather large ship and it's going to cause an awful lot of lag on your machine so keep that in mind but it is free to play if you want to check it out yourself there is a link as always in the video description down below one thing that stands out to me is the funnels i kind of get vibes of the more like the georgic and the third britannic much more stouty parity miniature funnels rather than the stacks that we see with the olympic class liners about the looks of things we're going to get ourselves a grand staircase we've got an officer's quarters right there we've got some lifeboats not that we're going to need them because there's no way it's going to sink they never do. And we got the stern looking very sterny, curvy, curvaceous, swoopy swooshes as we go round from port to starboard. You got the docking bridge, you got the aft well deck, you got a bit of everything. But again, we have no mast. Where's the mast? We got something against masts. Now for a sense of size and scale, that's me on the left hand side. Look at the size of the ship. Small me, massive ship. Look at that promenade deck. I can already see myself walking down and taking in those amazing views, no matter the weather, because you got a roof above your head. No rain gonna get you. This is is my first time back in the game for quite a while, so we're going to get used to a couple of things. But how's about we take it for some sea trials, get on board, and have a look around? Okay, options are a ladder on the forward well deck or some lower doors down by the waterline. I don't see any handles. I don't think we can even get through those. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> wee, 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 wee. I don't know about you, but I would be pretty uncomfortable being this close to such an absolutely ginormous ship down at the waterline. I'd be scared of being sucked under or into the propellers or something. So don't be getting close to ships. <laughs> so here we are on the well deck. Now those funnels are so short, you can't even see them towering over the bridge. Kind of really changes the perspective of the view entirely, at least in my opinion. Anyway, step it up onto the folks so we've got a nuclear power plant dead ahead. Not a problem. <laughs> don't know why I mention it anyway. Oh, look at this detailing. That's pretty nice. I like this. Obviously, we've got our barrel anchor chains dead center. We've got some capstans and all that jazz. Got ourselves the cargo hatch in the middle and some breakwaters to have the water splashing over the bow to clear off the sides and back into the ocean. Don't want it on the ship. And we got ourselves an auxiliary anchor. Not going to need it, but it's there just in case we do. A wee 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 dry la la ding ding dog. Kick the world. Blah. Sun's going to be going down soon. Better crack on. Right. Let's make our way aft and I don't know. Should we just kind of head toward the bridge now, get moving, and then continue the tour out at the open ocean? Oh la la, that's a promenade deck. And we've also got a peek boo for some of those windows. This is an interior decoration going on. Okay, we are going to be taking the staircase up to boat deck and heading to the bridge. I want to get this thing turned on. Distress rockets. Wow! Amazing! It, it, I think the rocket itself is in some form of distress. Stop everything before anything else can happen. It has to be done. Bridge wing review. I don't know about this one. It's an okay view. Got a little bit of an overhang going on. The sun's going down. It's quite a picturesque moment. But there's a bit of obstruction going on. And I don't feel like I'm quite overhanging it enough. I'll give it five out of ten bridges. See, looking back down the starboard side, it's normally one of my favorite views from the bridge wing. But I'm not feeling satisfied by this. Something isn't quite there. Oh, wow. What a view. The sun is getting real low. Look at the water. The light is glistening on it. Horn? Yep. Horn, Horn confirmed. Mama told me not to push buttons that don't have labels. <laughs> right, let's pop up the telegraphs and the starboard telegraph. Okay, all the engines forwards. What hell of a view, everybody. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. For reals, look at the colors on this deck. Look at the way the funnels are lighting up at the bottom and fading to a darker orange at the top. I like this. Still not moving, though. Uh, so we have another wheel. Uh, some lovely makeshift drawers, uh, switches, and these are light switches. Incredible. None of these start engines. It must be one hell of a thing to be like stepping onto a, a ship, like completely dead, turned off, not a single thing working on it, and being like that first crew that gets the engines turned on from cold and to bring the ship to life. Is that supposed to be a plant? These hallways are kind of cool. Like, I like the floor. I like the curvature at the top of the ceiling. But we're entering some public rooms right about here. Oh, 
Blackburn staircase, everybody. Look at that. The writing on the wall says it all. We're on A deck. Look at the floor. That's some Olympic class flooring. I've never seen it before. Big old dome directly above us. Look at that night sky. Oh, the colors are like something out of adventure out of time. I'm enjoying myself. In case you couldn't tell. It could be because the sun's going down, but the room feels a little bit dark, a little bit cast in shadow. But there is the staircase, and they've even snuck in honor and glory. Absolutely amazing graphic. Amazing! The closer you get, the more pixelated it gets. But I've been playing a lot of Minecraft, so I've come to appreciate pixels a lot recently. I'll tell you what is amazing. Look at this view. We're now looking aft. And you can see, obviously, the A deck and then the B deck. But there's so much detailing going on. It's amazing! It sure would be a shame if it was to sink for some reason. Oh, descending the staircase. So on C deck right now. Is this as low as we go? They've got a lift. I just walked down the stairs and there's a lift. No way, does this actually work? No way this works. It actually bloody works! Wait, is this... How's this... Wait. Ooh. Oh yeah, I suppose it's just a winch pulling on the cable car. Even still, I'm very impressed. We've got a functioning lift. And what's even cooler is that there's actually a dial on the side saying what deck we're getting up to and stuff. Look at this, everyone. I'm still trying to find my way to the engine room. I've stepped out on boat deck. It looks absolutely gorgeous. I, I know I'm, I'm repeating myself at this point. I don't care. I'm absolutely loving this. Look at that funnel. Look at the lighting. Now, there's something particularly amazing about ships at nighttime. I think it's just because the world is so dark around it, yet you have this vessel glowing and beaming with light. There's so much to see and do on this ship, and I'm wasting all my time trying to find them a way to the engine rooms. All right, crew only. This could be a good way to go. The pipes running along the ceiling. Great touch. Engineering. Oh, now we're making some progress. Very much behind the scenes. Like all the passenger space, all lovely and gorgeous. Well decorated. Then you step behind the scenes where the crew live. And it is just bare bones. You want wallpaper? You're not getting any. I'm not going to lie. That's pretty darn impressive. It's so big and it covers the entire width of the ship. Okay, boiler on. Pumps on. Okay, that's... Is that good? Things are really starting to light up in here. Oh, this is not even funny. But stepping between the boilers, we're entering the next compartment. And by the looks of things, it is the reciprocating engine. Now, you can tell a lot of love and attention has gone into making these. Look at the detailing of it. It's very, very impressive. But it's not even the outside of the engine. Running my camera down the center here, you got all the individual cranks, all the pistons and stuff. And... Look at it. It's so bloody detailed. I've got spotlight. I forgot I had a spotlight. Right, we've got buttons happening here. Engine start one, two, and three. Okay. Oh. Oh, we're going. We're going. We're actually going. I left the ship in gear when I was on the bridge, and we're going forwards. We've got a nuclear power plant down ahead of us. Why does this always happen to me? Well, the sun seems to be rising, so that's something. I must get back to the bridge as fast as possible, but with this lag, it's not gonna be easy! And I don't really remember the way back. Now oh, climb the- climb, climb, hurry. We must hurry. There's rocks, dead ahead. Nuclear power plant, dead ahead! Why did I leave it in full speed ahead? It was really stupid of me. I should have expected this to happen. Hello, staircase. Please, get me to boat deck as fast as possible, please! Oh my god, come on. Don't make me take the elevator. I'm having to jump up these steps. Honor and glory, please tell me I've got time left to get to the bridge before we crash. Here we go, here we go. Jump on that wheel now. Oh god, I think it's too late. We're way too close. As the sun rises on yet another glorious day, the RMS Olympus going full speed into rocks at the base of a nuclear power plant. It's going to be fine. I'm sure nothing bad will happen. We'll just slide backwards and it'll be absolutely dandy. We'll go about on our own merry way. It's going to be terrible. This is it. This oh, that's a bump. We're still going. We're fine. We're fine. We've come to a bit of a stop. A bit of a lean happening. I think we survived. Yeah, we biffed our booth a little bit there. There's some damage on the bow, but I don't see any holes. Right, oh, it's it's a bit leany. A little bit of a lean. Right, let's get these engines into reverse and try and pull ourselves off these rocks. Okay, I've rolled down the engines, but I don't know how to get the ship into reverse gear. So I'm kind of hoping we're going to roll back a little bit. And maybe I can then turn the helm so we can kind of push ourselves away. Well, it's been a bit of a cursed voyage. We only started at the oil rig back there. Okay, if I turn just the starboard engines on, it should help give me kind of a push left a little bit. If I turn the helm hard over, 
We should maybe be able to get around. Oh, wait. But I gotta go down and start the engines again. Oh, such a pickle. Could we not just get a toggle up here? Would that be too much to ask for? No. You need the exercise. Oh, dear God. There's a tsunami on the way now. I haven't even had time to explore the ship properly yet. And we've crashed. And now we're probably gonna get flipped around, smashed up, turned upside down by this freaking tsunami. I could try for a lifeboat. Oh, no, wait. Distress rockets. That's what I need. Help, help. We're about to die. And there they go. Not towards the nuclear power plant. There is no time for this. It's here. Uh, get inside. Forget about the tour. The tsunami has arrived. It is taking our stone and it is lifting us up. Place your bets what's about to happen. I see rocks in our future. By the looks of things, we're going to get picked up and thrown onto the island and probably smash it half by at this rate. And the stern hits the peak of the tsunami, falling over the top of it. Wait for that splashdown. Everyone likes a good splashdown. Of course they do, but we've got a bit of a kid and roll going on. Are we going to capsize? Those lifeboats are having a terrible time. Here we go, crashing down. We're rolling back over. Lifeboats are rolling across the deck, tumbling over the side. We're leveling back off again. We may survive this scenario just yet. No, we're rolling over the other side now. Things could be going better for the Olympus. I've been given a brand new ship and I've wrecked it already. There's nothing but the breakers yard for this one now. Well, that is kind of a crazy sight to see. Costa Concordia, you can do one. We got a better shipwreck. <laughs> I survived the tsunami. Okay, we've got an open doorway into the promenade. Let's drop down before it submerges. Okay, I'm on the lifeboat. Um, there doesn't seem to be engines on these. They're just the rowboat type lifeboats. Well, the ship just bobs around as the bigger waves come. We've made it to a lifeboat. We're going to be safe. We're going to be just fine. We'll have a little row out to the land. Wait for all this to blow over. Maybe they got a telephone. I can call someone. Hello, my ship is broken down. Can you come pick me up? Sorry that we didn't get to tour inside the old girl. I fully intended to. There's an awful lot to see and do. But the way that Stormworks goes is you never know how it's going to go. Anyway, I'm going to call that an episode right about there. Thoughts and opinions down below. I want to hear them. And if you want to support the channel, the t-shirt is available. CD17online.co.uk forward slash Spermos. And while you're at it, follow me on Twitter and tell me how excited you are that we're playing Stormworks again. On that bombshell, thank you for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye, everybody.